The BMW M6 is a high performance version of the BMW 6 series designed by the motorsport division of BMW. The M6 was critically acclaimed throughout its lifespan for its elegant, aggressive shark nose styling, its luxury equipment and performance. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the 2015 BMW M6 Grand Coupe in black sapphire metallic. The BMW M6 Grand Coupe is a super slick four-door coupe styling of the 6 Series Grand Coupe dressed up nicely with aggressive M Division modification. The 2015 M6 Grand Coupe is perhaps the most attracted high-performance sedan to ever wear the M badge. The BMW M6 Grand Coupe was born from painstaking attention to both inner and outer beauty. Behind the sophisticated lines lies a V8 engine boasting an impressive 560 horsepower just waiting to be put to work. It is also well suited for both performance and daily driving. The M6 features an extremely powerful engine combined with a responsive 7 speed M double clutch transmission with launch control that can be personalized by the driver to match with the wide range of preferences from comfort to sport plus and can operate in either automatic or sequential manual mode. In the manual mode, you shift like a Grand Prix driver by flicking the pedals just behind the steering wheel without taking your hands off the wheel. Up front, the first thing you will notice is the lightning that accentuates the BMW M6. The full adaptive LED headlights provide all forward lightning functions, including low and high beams headlight, with LED corona headlight rings, cornering light, daytime running light, as well as turn signal light. All lights are LED power and provide a wider, more powerful forward illumination for excellent visibility and reduce electrical power consumption. High intensity retractable headlight washer are also integrated into the front bumper. And here is a closer look at the iconic BMW double kidney grille with chrome insert and M6 badge to further differentiate the M6. Park assist are also built into the aerodynamic styling front bumper. Cornering light and side camera are also integrated into the front bumper. This particular model comes with the 20-inch M light alloy wheels with 265-35 Michelin performance tire. Behind the wheel is the set of ventilated cross-drill brake discs with the huge brake caliber painted in blue with M lettering on it. The huge brake caliber also helped the M6 brake faster. M6 fender with turn signal indicator. Body color side view mirror. It also features folded options and side camera are also integrated into the side view mirror. And here is a look to the top. It is all made with carbon fiber. Rear wheels are also 20 inches and come staggered in width with 295-30 Michelin performance tire as well. The M6 also features M dynamic damper control with M chases and suspension system, M drive and M driving dynamic control with dynamic stability control, including brake fade compensations, start off assistant, brake drying, and brake standby feature with dynamic traction control. To the back, you quickly notice the full LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as turn signal light. LED tail light illuminate faster and help alert driver behind quicker to prevent possible accident. LED tail lights are very stylish. At the bottom is the aerodynamic rear diffuser with carbon fiber insert in the middle that frame the court round chrome tip exhaust with dual sound mode. And a closer look at the carbon fiber trims. Parking sensor are also integrated to the rear bumper. Rear view camera is located right behind the BMW badge and it will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. M6 badge on the trunk lid. And a closer look at the third LED brake light on top. Okay, so here I have the remote. Very stylish looking remote. On the remote I have the unlock, lock, trunk release and panic buttons. Now let's open up the vehicle and check out the interior.
The car does come equipped with smart access key system, so with a key in your pocket, just press the button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as Black Sapphire Metallic, featuring a full black extended merino leather interior with silver aluminum trims and dark wood trims throughout. Very sporty interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button to start. Now let's pop the trunk and see what the 2015 BMW M6 Grand Coupe have to offer. Under the hood is a 4.4 liter BMW M Twin Power Turbo V8 engine, 32 valve combines an M Twin Scroll Turbo Charger with variable valve control, double vanos and Vaftronic, and high precision direct injections, auto start and stop function, 7 speed M double clutch transmission with drive logic and steering wheel mounted paddle shifter, pushing out 560 horsepower and 502 pound feet of torque can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 4.1 second. Top speed is electronically limited at 155 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 14 city, 20 highway, and 16 combined. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with silver aluminum trims and premium dark wood trims looks very nice all four windows are fully automatic and there you have the rear sunshade button side view mirror controlled with folded option and it does have the uh, blind spot turn signal indicator bang Olufsen speaker door storage compartment BMW M6 aluminum door seal and there's the pedals and a closer look at the seat it is perforated with M lettering embossed on the uh, backrest. Both front seats feature 20 way power front multi contour seat with 4 way power lumbar support, articulated upper backrest, adjustable backrest with adjustable thigh support, passenger seat memory, and active head restraint with adjustable side support. Include memory system for driver and front passenger seat. Both front seats does feature heated and ventilated options. The three-spoke M Sport design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with M blue and red contrast stitching and M logo at the bottom with silver aluminum trims in the middle. Looks and feel very nice. 
Also feature multi-function controls side by side for your convenience with control for audio, cruise control, Bluetooth wireless and hand-free mobile phone as well as the most frequent used function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride and there's the windshield wiper control. Over to the left you have the turn signal light control. Steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column and it does feature heated option. And a closer look at the instrument cluster. Over to the left you have the driver side air vent with beautiful dark wood trims, light controlled and the instrument light controlled. There you have the lane keeper assist and your trunk release button. And a closer look at the dash. And here is a closer look at the full color heads up display that project important travel information such as vehicle speed and check control warning onto the windshield directly into your field vision. For the first time, all heads up display data is shown in full color, making information more precise and easier to process. Now this particular model also comes with the optional Bang & Olufsen high-end surround sound system that features 16 perfectly integrated loudspeakers that deliver a rich sound to the cabin. There's the Bang & Olufsen surround sound speaker. And the large 10.2 inch LCD screen. Dual air vent in the middle separated by the uh, door lock and emergency hazard light, beautiful wood trims, multimedia controlled, dual climate controlled, and dual cup holder, very nice touch. There you have the gearbox. So under the gearbox you have the hand park and brake button. Just push it in to release and push up the gear lever to get into reverse. Once you're in reverse, the rear view camera will activate on the multimeter screen and the side view mirror will also tilt down to help with a much easier backup. And guidance lines will also move as you turn the wheel. Just pull it down again to get into neutral and over to the right for drive or sport mode and that's when you can uh, use the steering wheel mounted paddle shifter to change gear very simple to use alright and lift it up to get into park and there you have the uh, traction control on and off Steering wheel setting, suspension setting, park and assist on and off, camera button. And to the right of the gear lever, you have the uh, control to your infotainment system. You can just turn the knob around to move around screen. Or you can move it up, right down or left, or press down to select. And there you have your menu button, media, radio, telephone, and navigation button. Very nice sound quality. Here you have your cigarette lighter, 12 volt power outlet, and an ashtray. center storage compartment with USB auxiliary and 12 volt power plug and your trunk lock
glove box compartment. And another look at the front seat. It is heavily bolstered and offer plenty of support. Okay, on top you have the SOS button to use in case of an emergency. And you have your light control. Rear view mirror with three buttons universal garage door opener. Alcantara headliner with a leather insert in the middle. Sun visor mirror with a card holder. Okay, looking at the rear door, you see grand coupe lettering embossed on the door frame. And all four doors offer self closed automatic door as well. So if you fail to close it, it'll close for you. And a look at the rear driver side door panel. So rear seats offer seating for three. And it does look like it offers plenty of leg room. Rear windows are fully automatic as well. And there you have the uh, rear sunshade power button. as well as the window rear, uh, window sunshade button for both of the uh, rear windows. Very nice feature to have. There you have the ashtray. Aluminum door seal. Now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. First let me show you the look to the front cabin. Very spacious cabin. And a look to the top. Dual air vent for the rear passengers. And you do have your full uh, climate control in the back. Okay, so I'm 5'8", and this is how much leg room I have left. And that's the rear seat pocket. Rear seats are very well padded and offer a lot of support, as you can see. It is ventilated as well. There you have the uh, center armrest with storage compartment. And dual cup holder. And here you have the uh, pass-through for the trunk to get the access to the trunk. And here's the look to the back. Light on top. A hook for uh, to hang your clothes. Now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. So as you can see the BMW M6 Grand Coupe offer a pretty decent amount of cargo space for groceries and luggages. And I forgot to mention that you can fold down the rear seat into 60 or 40 split if you need to fold it down for extra cargo space. There you have the net, and there you have your tools and your battery. And that lever right there is to fold down the rear seat, one on each side. Very convenient. And this is how it looks with the seat folded down. And gas cap is located on the passenger side. 
and it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 21.1 gallons of fuel which is a very big tank Overall, the BMW M6 Grand Coupe interior space is very luxurious. The rear space does offer decent leg rooms. However, headroom could be a problem for a taller than average passenger because of its coupe-like body styling with a sloped roof line. However, it does offer plenty of features such as rear sunshade for all of its rear windows, plus a separate dual zone climate control for rear passengers as well. The front cabins are very classy and elegant. It offers great upholstery material as well as nicely dark wood trims and aluminum trims all around. The dash features a large 10.2 inch LCD screen plus front seatings of a 20 weight multi-contour seat which will make you feel really comfortable. And another look to the back. Alright, let's get into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. It is very comfortable in the front and offer plenty of leg rooms. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2015 BMW M6 Grand Coupe. Go ahead and leave me a comment, let me know how you guys like it, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review, and I'll see you guys next time.